Sure. Um, thank you again for this opportunity to uh, share a little bit of my story of my life. Uh, if I was to summarize my story in one sen in a couple of words, it would be uh, I'm a miracle of God. Right? And the reason is because I was born uh, I was born in the second poorest country in the Western Hemisphere, uh, Hades being number number one, and then my beautiful country of Nicaragua uh, is second. Right? And I had three things against me. Uh, first of all, I grew up in poverty. Uh, uh, Nicaragua was very poor, uh, live on a dollar a day. Uh, second of all, there was uh, in the 1980s, uh, there was a communist movement through Central America. Uh, and there was a little thing called the, uh, the Iran and Contra affair, right around 1984, around there, uh, where the United States and the uh, Soviet Union back there were in a Cold War and the Sandinista government, which was a communist movement that was a party that was uh, in power, and they're still in power in Nicaragua, uh, pretty much uh, rule uh, and trying to uh, make Nicaragua into communist. So I grew up uh, under that, under that lifestyle, poverty, communism. Uh, it was very common to see pictures of Fidel Castro, Daniel Ortega, uh, Soviet Union influence a lot. Uh, Talk about, you know, we over here thinking that the government's trying to restrict our, our religious freedom, right? We don't know what Amer as Americans what it is for that. I mean, I remember having only two channels, two options. One of the one of the channels uh, was run by the communists, and the other one was uh, partially owned by them, and they were like censoring only two newspapers, uh, uh, rationing of food, right? So a good communist. Uh, gives you enough food just for this amount of time. And then after that, you're on your own. Uh, uh, you know, it's so funny that uh, as we were running out of toilet paper because of all this uh, shelter in place, it uh, reminds me back of Nicaragua because we were constantly running out of toilet paper and had to go like in the, like uh, underground and look for toilet paper <laughs> everywhere. Uh, same thing with, uh, with the food, right? The milk and all that stuff. So, and then the third thing is that I grew up in a very untra uh, traditional home. My my father was not very present in my life. He had other uh, other priorities that, w that were ours. He had a lot of other women, and, and he was a businessman, so he had a lot of money. Um, so those three things against me, but, uh, but again, uh, the scripture says in Ephesians chapter 2, am I right? But God, those two, those two phrases, but God changed my, changed my journey, my life. Um, so when I was around seven years old, my, uh, my mom divorced my dad. And my mom decided to come to California, so she made she made the the first trip. This is my mom. My mom's my hero, man. My mom's my hero. She made the amazing trip from Nicaragua. I mean, through through uh, walking, buses, whatever it took to get to uh, to get to California. She raised enough money to be able to come back for us, because at the time, around 1986, the the Sandinista government. Um, made uh, the United States was funding the Contras that were the party that was against the the, the Sandinistas and they they were trained the CIA was training and I, and I lived through this the CIA was training uh, uh, the army in uh, the Contras in Honduras and the United States was funding and that's when they ran Contra affair and everything happened so the Sandinistas had this great idea why don't we get all the young men that can carry an M16 and go uh, uh, take him to go fight in the jungles of, of Nicaragua. And uh, I remember seeing on the news uh, uh, train, uh, trucks filled with bodies that were coming back from the jungles, right? And uh, hear stories of, of my friends and, and cousins that, that uh, some of them came back, some of them didn't come back. And my mom is hearing all this and she goes, I got to come back for my kids yeah. because I, I'm a big boy. So in uh, as soon as you they didn't care, they didn't ask you for ID. Oh, they just picked you up from the street and they sent a letter to your mom or whatever. They were taking him to the to fight. So they did give you a little bit of training. You're able to hold that M16. You're going to go fight the Contras because the United States is the evil empire, uh, the imperialism of the United States and all that stuff that comes with the, with the, uh, the propaganda that they were trying to sell to, to, the, to the Nicaraguan people uh, and the poverty and all that stuff. So my mom comes back, takes us, and we made that journey. I made that, I was uh, around nine years old when I came to the United States. We made that journey walking from Nicaragua to Honduras, from Honduras to Guatemala, from Guatemala to, um, to Mexico, Mexico and across the border. And now I'm, I'm blessed that at that time, the, 
uh, it was just but God, am I right? But God, through all that, my mom and, and some other people, like what we see on the news uh, of the people coming from Central America to to the border, that's that's what that was. That's my journey. And uh, I mean, I, I was be, I was in the in the bus. I was behind in a in an eighteen wheeler, whatever it, it took to come to America, right? And we were able to cross the border, uh, like they say here, illegally. Uh, but by God's grace. Uh, my mom was able was able to um, uh, we were able to cross. We ended up in in San Francisco, and um, my mom, I'm telling you, God's grace, God's love, God had a plan for my life, for my sister's life, and my mom, my sister, and myself. Uh, my mom ends up working with this lady, and ends up meeting uh, uh, her future husband. And it was this is within within the within maybe a month she ends up meeting her future husband. They were married for almost 23 years, and because of that relationship, I was able to uh, fix my uh, uh, immigration status. I became a resident, resident, and then I became a United States citizen when I was 18. Uh, but all this, I just want to let anybody know that whatever they're going through, uh, to trust God's hand on it, that God, God's in control of. I th- I think about how how God chose me. I don't know why He chose me. I could have been dead many, many times ago. I got many stories of living in Nicaragua where, where I should have been dead even at a small age. And even through the war and, and even my journey here to the United States, which was very dangerous, uh, God's hand was on me. So uh, I don't, 